and I got some instant ancestors. <laughs> I have a few of these myself, but these I thought would be really fun. They're, I got the women ones. There she is. She was a nurse, I guess, in the army, maybe. Oh, that she's lovely, and she signed it herself down there somewhere. I thought she's pretty as heck, and somebody maybe wants to give it as a gift to a nurse. I thought it would be fun. Um, I'm taking it. Mitchell's in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Cadet nurse is what it says. She's lovely. And then I got this other one, and I have it in my head, kind of what she was like. She was kind of a Doris Day type, or she's a, a tomboy, but would get dolled up once in a while. Look at her there in her long dress. I love it. But she's got her knees up, kind of tomboy style. She could just as easily be sitting on a fence post. Falcon's a gamer, as many of you know. Like, mega super uber gamer. And he's always told me if I find gaming equipment um, at yard sales, to call him and let him know. But he's at a big thing today. A friend of his is going off to Iraq, and so they're his family and the neighborhood and his friends and all are having this huge blowout for him to send him off properly tomorrow. So Falcon's been gone all day, and he's going to be gone all night, and half the morning tomorrow, and that's great. He needed to do something like this. Sounds like they're having fun. Um, so I didn't call him and bother him about it. I just bought it because the kid that was selling it wanted like three bucks for the thing. It's a Sony P uh, PH1. No, that's not what I meant. PS1. So I do know. It's PlayStation. I know what it is. And I asked the kid if it worked, and he said, yeah, I guess. As far as I can remember, it works. I wish I had a game to go in it so I could check it out. Um, and it, this, okay, this trash can. It was down in this trash can. And when I tried to pull it out of there, the wires were all tangled up with a million other wires. And I said, here, why don't you just down, untangle this for me and I'll buy it. So he did. And when I got done looking around, he was still trying to untangle. And his mom came over. And she's like, just let her have the whole batch. Nobody's going to want that other stuff. <laughs> it's like noonish and probably not going to get a whole lot of other customers anyway so got the controller and I got a bunch of other crap half of it I don't even know what it is like cords and things some sort of charger for some kind of special battery and um, Game Boy car charger and jazz like that some of it may be garbage but you know I figure for three bucks if it works it's worth it for the for the little um, PlayStation and I told Falcon because I did talk to him while I got home he's like oh excellent if it works I can mod it and we can do all kinds of fun stuff with it don't know what and at the same sale I also got this groovy fun cookbook and I love old cookbooks I collect old cookbooks I like the ones that are from a specific product I have one from Imperial Sugar I have one from Jell-O that's just gross and fun um, the pictures and the little drawings and stuff inside tend to be kind of quaint and um, sometimes the recipes look fantastic and sometimes they make you gag and um, and inside this one is a little bonus somebody's handwritten recipe for peanut butter chocolate chip cheesecake I may have to make that. Um, it's fun. Permanent beauty and convenience for your kitchen. Recipes and instructions. I think it came with a set of pots and pans. It looks like Regina. It was Regina's set of pot and pans. Pots and pans and cookbook. Anyway, got that cheap. That's probably just for my personal collection. Also, as many of you know, I like to make rugs and... I make them out of, and I will make a video someday showing how to make this. I have a website up, but it's not real great. It was before I had video options for me. I get old t-shirts and I cut them in what eventually ends up to be strips about yay so big, about three inches long. Strips. I love cutting things. I don't know why I love cutting stuff up. Cutting fabric is even better. Cutting it in little tiny pieces is even more fun. I love cutting. And I'm making, um... And I don't know when I'll get it done, because once I get started, it's it's hot to have on my lap. So it may be uh, cool months before I actually get it going. But I'm planning and working on a little rug for my friend Elizabeth, Elizabeth on here. And sometimes it's difficult to find t-shirts and stuff at yard sales. Some, some people think that their t-shirts are just worth their weight in platinum. And they want like $3 for some t-shirt they got for free at a charity run please 
but the same place where I got the clock and I got the PS and I got some of this other stuff. I also got, I was looking at, they had like a mattress out there with a bunch of clothes on it and I saw a lot of them were, were t-shirts. I was like, how much for this? And I held up a t-shirt and she said, oh honey, wait a minute, I'm getting you a bag. She brought over a bag. She says, a dollar for everything you could stuff in the bag. I said, okay. When I got done getting t-shirts in it, I got a couple of nice dress shirts that I thought my mom could wear. They ended up not working for her, but they're real nice. I might take them to a consignment shop. So I ended up, and it's wonderful. It's like I have paint. It's like this is my, my paint palette. These, look at these wonderful colors. Wonderful. Wonderful colors. So I ended up with tons and tons of t-shirts, which I will very much enjoy deconstructing. One of them's cool though, and I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to cut it up. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Um, unfortunately, it's a size medium, which is many, many sizes smaller than me. And I wish I could fit my huge knockers and the rest of my hugeness into it, but I cannot, sadly. It is still cruising. It's from Barnett's Derriette. Cones and Shakes in Salem Springs, Arkansas. I know right where it is. I love this joint. It's like, it's this ancient old ice cream shack. And is that not just too cool? Um, since 1957, it's one of these charming old places like the original, the original sign. It looks like a big soft serve ice cream. The Dariette. And I love that shirt. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll cut the, the, um, the, the design off of it and use it on something else and then use the rest of the shirt for cutting up. I don't know, but anyway, good gracious, 20 minutes. I'm a fiend. I'm sorry. I will cut this into two pieces because nobody wants to sit and listen to me talk for that long. I'll dribble them out a day at a time. Okay, so um, I guess that's it for my yard sale finds for today. I had yard, yard sale finds I was hanging on to to show you from like a month ago and I finally had to just disperse them. Some of them, I got a cool old suitcase that matches my other cool old suitcase and I got three long things of um, black Christmas tree garland. Because Falcon and I are going to have a very interesting Christmas tree. I won't tell you what because we're not sure what. It'll be a surprise to all of us. Okay, guys, I love you. Well, bye.